What's up, y'all? Back at it again. This is my second take of this video. I'm not acting it out or anything. Just wasn't happy with the first one. Wasn't happy with where it went. I was way too off topic on certain things. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're doing a review. And I haven't done a review in a while. Um, actually, quite some time. A little bit too long, actually. So, um, me and Lindsay have been in the house all week. Because, as y'all know, if you've been following me, our car's in the shop getting a new paint job. So, we've been stuck in the house, and we had a little bit of money, and I told Colt, I told Sea Dog and Brat, I was like, hey, you come get me, we'll give you 10 bucks in gas, take us to Longview, just goof off, get us about to eat at McDonald's or something. I was out of snuff, so the one thing I had to do was get snuff. And I was like, you know what, I'll just go get me, because mint's been making me sick, and I was like, you know what, I'll just go get me some, uh, some wintergreen or just some straight if I have to from Walmart. They were out of freaking both. In both the Walmarts around me, they're out of wintergreen and, and straight and mint. I don't know what the deal with that is, but uh, uh, I ended up going to the store when we got the gas and get dipped there. Their Copenhagen is on sale. Usually at that store where you get gas at in Longview, it's like six bucks a can. It's got this Christmas special or some crap where it's like, I don't know, what was it, like six or four dollars or something. But anyways, the camera's dying, so I'm going to get at this. We're doing a Skull Peach review today. Skull Peach. Uh, I'm not really going to tell you about the can. I do like the color stuff because why would I tell you about the can? Because, you know, you've seen the cans. Why would I tell you about the can? I'm not much on doing that in my videos and my reviews because it just it's a waste of time in my opinion. But if y'all want me to describe the can in the videos, just tell me. But I don't I don't really see it necessary. So let's get right into this. It's uh, Skull Peach, the back of Skull. I, call, I used to call them pussy dips because I never, I never really wanted to dip anything that was like peach or berry or mango or any kind of shit like that. I just never wanted to do it. It was just like, I'm more of a kind of a, a laid out, straight kind of tobacco guy like long cut, straight, and maybe some wintergreen and mint in the middle. But uh, this is just off the wall. As y'all know, if you've been following me since the get-go, Skull Mint is what I actually heavenly, heavy, hev, heavy, I started heavy dipping Copenhagen. Uh, it's Skull Mint. Good God, what is wrong with me? But anyway, stop laughing. Skull, skull peach. Okay, so what is it? What is it? I'm sorry it's cracked. Colton wanted to try it, and he cracked it before I could even say I was going to get a review on it and actually crack it, because I haven't cracked one for a while for y'all, and I know that's one of the main things you like, because them dippers just, that's an orgasmic sound right there. But anyways, anyways, Walmart was out of my dip. The store wanted too much, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to pay outrageous prices for what I want, or I can pay pretty much the same price for something I can do a review on that I've never dipped before, so... Here you are with some Skull Peach. Okay, so we're going to start. When you first open this, I don't know if it's just a Skull thing maybe, kind of a grizzly thing, but it's like a freaking hockey puck inside there, dude. There's no way you can really get a pinch. Like, that's just two pinches taken out of this. Mine's a good size and Colton's wasn't, and it's still pretty packed. That's like when you first buy a Copenhagen can, that's that's what it looks like right there. So there was. it's really hard to even get a freaking pinch out of this thing. Sorry, Lindsay's moving. So, um... Uh, it's just really tight. You can't really get it. So we're going to show you all the pinchability on this. We're going to pack, I guess, a good, you know, three-wire painter. That's a good fatty. Pack, dip, spit. Mm, I'll save a lung and pack of gum. But anyways, cheers. I'm going to throw this in real quick. Okay. Mm. So pinchability, it's all right. The cut's all right. It's kind of like a grizzly cut. Typical skull cut. You already know about all that. I ain't got to tell you. As y'all can probably tell by my face, this stuff is raunchy, man. It's not like it, it's a. It's okay. But there's no way I'd pay $5 for this ever again. Ever again, unless I was having to do a mashup or something. Because it's just... It's just gross, man. For one, you barely get a peach taste. And it's supposed to be peach. I get a, a mango smell and a mango taste off of it. I don't taste peach at all. So... Leave me a comment. Tell me what the heck y'all... If y'all tried this crap, tell me what y'all think about it. Because it ain't all that great to me. So, uh... Spit... 
the spit, uh, it's not that dark. It's actually not dark at all. But, uh, it, it, it will start burning. I, I've, I've never dipped this kind of, this kind of dip, so maybe that's why. Could be why, but it'll burn the shit out of your lip after about 20 seconds of having it in. And, like I say, I've been getting sick with dips lately, so, I don't know what it is, maybe, maybe just me getting sick from all the dips, but, this definitely makes me sick, I'm getting kind of choked up right now, but, uh, basically, it's not a dip I would pay a bunch of money for, it is a dip I would obviously get to do a review, but, what I, I would never buy it. I honestly say I'll never make fun of somebody that dips this again. I'll never call it a bitch dip again because it actually burns worse than wintergreens ever burnt. The taste, if you can, oh, if you can deal with the taste of this shit on the daily, you're doing pretty good. Cause this is just killer, man. It's just got a a taste. It's unbelievable. Put a like on this video and a comment on this video if y'all would like to see a skull uh, grape review or berry whatever the hell it is a purple can i ain't big on skull so i don't know all of it i'm still looking for the skull cherry i think it is skull cherry and grizzly straight i can get the grizzly straight around here but i cannot find skull cherry anywhere and that's supposedly supposedly what you need for the for the uh dr pepper dip but i can't find it Leave a comment if y'all know where I can find it at anywhere around, you know, the East Texas area. Because I don't know. And and I venture away from here a little bit around East Texas, so maybe I can find some somewhere. But this is just, this is a dip I definitely wouldn't dip every day. And I'll probably, I'll honestly, never dip it again after this can. I don't even know if I dip this full can. Uh, but I hope y'all like this review. Uh, this is the second cut of it because I wasn't happy with the first one. I just sounded too dumb, which I sound dumb in this one, but I always sound dumb. It's me, right? <laughs> Whatever. But, like I said, hit that like button. I want to try to get at least five likes on this video. I'm not going to ask for much because it is, I'm such a small channel. But I want to try to get five likes. So if y'all do, do like the review or I'm doing pretty alright on it, give me some tips or whatever you want to do. Uh... You know how I can better them or whatever. Uh, your honest opinion. Give me, give me some comments on uh, what I can mash up. Maybe taste or something or something you've done that you want me to try. Hell, if it's gross and you've tried it and it's disgusting, I want you to put in the comments. I want you to try it and don't tell me what it tastes like. I want you to see my reaction because there's some things I can take and there's some things I can't. But uh. Uh, hit that like button like I said. Like, share, comment, and or subscribe. Y'all always know what to do. Cook a cook, keep it fucking redneck.